960, 960 cities for 1,000 cities, a bank like this. So you need 10 of these for an acre. One pepper plant, one pepper plant will give you 3 kg in the whole production cycle. So if you multiply 3 kg by the 10,000, how much would you get? Minimum is 55 Ghana cities. Yeah, man. That is 20 kg. Guys, welcome back to another exciting week. This is your own guy, Kelly Michael. Today we kickstart a three-month demonstration farm on AV Farm, organized by uh, Holland Green Tech, one of the leading producers of quality seeds in Ghana. Uh, Start of GH, we understand the importance of capacity building, so we came with our cameras. If you find this very valuable, don't forget to hit on the like button and subscribe. It's a long video, but I promise you, there are lots of nuggets. Information day. I'm Israel Chade, agronomist for Holland Green Tech, Ghana and uh, as well as the water regional representative. So I coordinate the whole water region. This morning we are here for a project on go which we call Akshi. Uh, it's a project which is uh, targeting Ghana uh, horticulture sector. So we want to boost the horticulture sector in Ghana, especially the vegetable aspect. So this morning, as we are here, uh, AV Farm have met the criteria and we've done the assessment. It's qualified for, for the demo. So this demo, it comes across five regions. That is Volta, Bono, Savannah, Ashanti, that is Kumansi, and then uh, Ejira. So we are all running the same uh, demo in uh, the horticulture aspect so what do we do as a company holland green tech uh, we are into hybrid seed we saw hybrid seeds from our partner rex one uh, yeah we can see they give us the seed and then we saw and we do uh, greenhouse installation uh, we do irrigation setup and then consultancy and then um, agronomy <coughs> services so if you want to start a farm you don't know anything about it we are there to help you from starting to the end we are there for you so this morning as part of the project the initial stage is seeding if you have a, a farm and then without seed or without seedlings you can't do anything so you need to put seed into the soil for it to come out before you will see the fruit so this morning we'll be doing seeding before we start what are the things we we use we have various form of nursery we have the one we do on the nursery bed and then we are for this demo we are using seed tree why are we using the seed tree we are using the seed tray because uh, of weather. We, we want to have total control over the seedlings. We don't want any to loss. <coughs> and with us as a company, before you plant your seed, we give you the, uh, the total number of plants that will be on your floor. So for one acre, we know that you need 10,000 seeds. 10,000 seed for one acre. So with that one acre, if you nest on the ground with a nursery bed, how will you know that you have the 10,000 plants? How can you calculate it? But with the seed tree, we know that this one is 72 cells. This is 72 cells. And this 128. And 128 cells goes for lettuce and then uh, cabbage. Because they uh, their root system is not all that uh, wide but for habanero, garden eggs, tomato and co we go for the 72 cells so if uh, you have this and then we know that this is 72 and you put 72 seeds on it and two didn't come you know that two didn't come if it's one you know that one <coughs> if it's none you know that none but situation where you put it in, inside as well, how do you determine one didn't count, two didn't count, you have this a number of percentage. We just assume. 
But with a seed tray, you know the total number of seeds or seedlings that is going into the plot. So before you start your production, who will tell you all that you need before you go to the plot? And you will not short on the way. If you didn't plan, you plan to fail. Yeah. So we plan everything from the start to the end. So as you can see, that is this uh, nursery shed is well uh, secured that nothing will temper with your seedlings. If you nest on the floor, before you can the next day you see the grasshoppers, they will come and cut the top of uh, your seedlings and you lost it. And these are our seeds. They are quality seeds and very expensive for sure. And they will give you what you are looking for. So this morning we will start. If you want to nest, this one is new. So we assume that there is no uh, pathogen or bacterial in it. So with that, we will start filling it direct like that. But if it's used one, you have to wash it. You have to disinfect with a power zone. And then uh, after using the power zone, you use either liquid soap or detergent before you, re you finally rinse it with water. A situation where you don't have that, you can use the chemical control. And then the is, cocoa uh, pit. By the use of insecticide. Ours is finer. So after filling it, then you spread it on top before you, uh, you rig it, uh, the seeded tray. We use a medium, or a media, 40 media. This is GP. A substrate that we use for our seeding. This is how it looks like. If you and we have uh cocoa pit, but but with cocoa pit, you will see that uh the fine uh, uh is not all that fine like this. And then the cocoa pit lose water quickly. It happened about uh, two months ago. Somebody bought cucumber from us and they nest it in a shade house. That is what we normally call in Ghana greenhouse. And then he, uh, he went for a course. The person uh, should attend to it. They didn't go and water Friday, Saturday, Sunday before the uh, person came. They lost all the seedlings. But at least, if it were to be jiffy, uh, it can sustain you at least one, one day or two days. Yeah. But you have to be monitoring it. But this one, the person didn't go at all. So if you want to start a farm, know the person, your caretaker, that he, he, he is active. And that six hundred of uh, cucumber is six hundred and sixty Ghana. Just gone like that. They have to start afresh by buying new seed again. So those are some of the challenges with the cocoa pit and then ours. And this jiffy, it has some nutrients. Uh, they use peat. It's peat that they use uh, to do it, and it's from uh, Netherlands. Or all away from Netherlands. It has a nutrient that can sustain your plants, your seed, uh, your seedlings for uh, two to three weeks. So from two weeks, you have to start uh, uh, with supplements, either uh, NPK nineteen nineteen or twenty twenty, with a recommended EC. If the concentration is too high. You may end up uh, burning your seedling. So uh, with the second week, you need 0 0.5 EC. And then as uh, the growth increase, at third week, you increase it to 0 0.7. Then fourth week, 0 0.8. You'll be increasing it like that. 
so that uh, the nutrients as you are watering the nutrient is going down and the plant and the seedlings too are u utilizing it so if you didn't do it like that at the end of the day you will see that all the seedlings are making yellow yellow nitrogen deficiency this person failed to to supplement the nutrient that is needed and this is the result as we can all see uh, seedling, uh, seedling like that if that thing happen then your farm you are almost failing because good seedlings will give you good results and looking at that situation what will happen at the end of the day the, quant uh, the plant population that the person is supposed to get you will not get it you see so it's very important as we start we take the necessary precautions to avoid those challenges this is uh, the caretaker of the ab farm uh, is mr sadik he is taking care of the uh, the entire farm before other laborers to uh, come and then do over so in the whole session he will be taking care of all uh, the activities that will be coming here i may come once in a while so in this uh, demo we have seeding land preparation uh, irrigation installation mulching and then transplanting before vegetative uh, stage so those are the stages that we will go through so as we will do seeding today a week time we have to start with land preparation after land preparation, irrigation installation, we will be using drip irrigation, not the sprinkler system. We we'll use drip irrigation for this uh, project. And then after uh, drip uh, installation, we will move to mulching. We will mulch. After mulching, then we transplant. So as you are seeding, all this process have to be you have to be following them. If not your seedlings may be overgrown and then the land is not ready. So we advise that before you start, you even seed, you should plow. A situation where you don't have the tractor on your own for the land preparation, you should plow before you seed. Because sometimes you have seeded already, you are waiting for the uh, tractor, today I will come, tomorrow I will come, then time is going before you realize your seedlings are overgrown. So these are the stages that we will be going through. And if you cooperate with us, at the end of the day, we'll all see the results. And our hope is, at the end of the day, you also go and then replicate what we are doing. That is the purpose of uh, the training, impact. You also go and do it with the uh, knowledge we are giving, and then it's working. This demo we've started, one is Alavanyu. Uh, one is uh, at Sugankofa Mufa office, one is Avedo, Hankofa, and then we have some in uh, Tajafu, and then Ada, and Odokofa, here. So all those places, people who are coming to learn all these things, they are also trying to bring preparation to go into production. We know that farming nowadays, we have, uh, we have to take it as a business not those that our uh, grandfathers have been doing the only farm to eat the only farm to eat no the time has come for us to make money out of the soil we have a farm at Avolo, kop farm they are into maize production over thirty thousand hectares thirty thousand hectares they are from south africa they are coming to take money from the soil we know brazil uh, uh, the rice farm. Look, we are in Africa. They are coming to take money from the soil and take to their country, and we are here. So the time has come for us to take farming as a business, especially the horticulture sector. And as I always said, everywhere I go, the boots I'm using is vegetable money. The shirt I wear, but this one is not vegetable money. This one is company, company this thing. You see. Anything about me, apart from the company, is vegetable money. 
Mr. Gabi will know. When we're in secondary school, they will come to school early. I will go to farm, go and do my small garden before coming to farm, uh, before coming to the school. And as we talk, this is where I am today. You see, vegetable farming. And I know that there is money there. The fact that I did art doesn't prevent me from uh, going into agriculture. But that is the interest. But as the chance is not there, after completion, I go into it. And I went to Ohio Agri College to go and do top up, to upgrade my knowledge. And I am using it. And it's benefiting me. One day, I'll invite him and you will come and see what we are doing at Anchor Hold Farm. So, we will now do seeding. Before uh, we do it, uh, we'll, the uh, media, media is, uh, is, uh, is, I may say there is a moisture content in it, but it's not enough. So, we we'll moist it. Small, Mr. Sadiq. Yeah. Well, uh, no, less fresh. So, we we'll moist it. So that if we will do the two and then we will see the difference. You fresh. We will fill one with the, the uh, with the media direct and then we'll moist the rest and then we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it now. Yeah, but, oh we'll fill uh so uh, then let's let's bring it under. What we are seeing here, this uh 215. Ghana cities. So we use a rubber. We put it on it so that uh, none wouldn't go waste. At the end of the day, we'll recollect. No, we we'll only do one with this and then we'll moist uh, the rest. We will see the difference. We is learning by doing. So you put it inside. Oh, madam, put it on it. That is why the rubber is there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Or moist it. People. You is okay. Yes, we'll mix it. So if we moist it, you will see that this one is a bit uh, compacted. This one is not uh, compacted. So if you are watering with this one direct, it may end up bringing the media out. But if you moist it a bit before filling it into the tray, when you are watering, uh, the rate at which this one will come out will be low than uh, using the dry one. That is the reason why we will moist before we pot. So we will now do the CD. Yeah. Let's put the tray on it. All the trees. Yes, all the trees. We will, be, we will all fill it. Can, can you run us through the the trace again? You said some are poor. Okay. With the trace, we have uh, 72 cells. And then uh, we have 128 cells. The 128 are for uh, those that their roots are not wider. Especially carrots. Uh, no. Cabbage. Cabbage and then lettuce. Those ones, their roots are not. They are shallow rooted. So we'll use those one for it. But situation where we have a pepper, tomato, garden eggs, those ones, their root system go uh, deeper. So we use those ones for, for them to have enough uh, you use which one? The big one? Yeah, the 72 cells. So we can see the difference. This is 128. Okay. So you see that it's smaller than yes. uh, this one. That is the reason why we we use this one. Okay. Oh, we can all have a feel of a feel of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So before you, as we are draining, before you go for the seed tray, you have to know the quantity, uh, your land size. That will inform you of uh, the number of seeds seed trays you go for. With this demo, we are using 500 meters square. 500 meters square. That is, it will either be 20, uh, 20 by 25. 
that will give us the 500 meter square. And we are using the planting distance of uh, 1 meter, 0 0.6 by 1 meter. So with the 0 0.6 uh, by 1 meter, you will get um, 833 point something, so 833 plants. We can do a 500 meter square divided by 0 0.6 because for the one meter is there. So if you multiply, you just give you uh, 0 0.6. So you let's ignore uh, the one 500 meter square. 500 divided by 0 0.6. It will give you 833.3. And if you are using uh, 0 0.4, if you are going into commercial, we recommend 0 0.4 because our drip line, the emitters are um, the emitter spacing is 20 centimeters apart. So if you are using uh, 60, many two emitters will be left in between. So we recommend that you use 0 0.4 so that the one emitter that will remain. Uh, all of them will share the water that uh, will be emitting there or dripping there because um, the roots travel and then we call something wetting perimeter so if uh, we have a plant here a plant here water is, uh, is dripping here but there is no plant this root will come here this root will take advantage of, of it but a situation where this is uh, 20 20 start from we have 20 40 60 so how many holes is uh, remaining two so this one will take advantage here will be of waste this one will take advantage of uh, here will be waste a situation where you are doing fertigation you put the uh, you run the fertilizer through the tank uh, there is a cost attached to it so to save costs we recommend you go for 0 0.4 so that the one that will be uh, dripping here they will take advantage of it rather than you wasting one uh, emitter that will not be giving you anything so that is one thing about uh, seed choice so as we know that we are doing 500 meters square that inform us to go for thousand seeds thousand seeds so if you have uh, one acre that is 4,000 meters square, and you want to do, how many seeds will you need for one acre? Uh, we have, uh, your land size is 4,000 meters square. Uh, let's divide 4,000 by 0 0.6 and see what it will give you. So you say we calculate everything before you go into production to know your cost. 4,000 divided by 0 0.6 that will give you 6,666.6 if you are using 0 0.6 so with the 0 0.6 the 222 emitter that will be water will be dripping there from the whole uh for that uh one uh, acre it will have a hundred hundred latras you have hundred latras so with that hundred latras meaning Every two, 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 two emitters will be, will be dripping water in the entire flow. So to avoid that, uh, we go for the 0 0.4. Somebody may think that uh, these people, they want you to go for 0 0.4 so that you may, get, uh, you may buy more of their seed. It is uh, to your own advantage. The cost of fertilizer and then the water, if you are paying for water, the cost of water and then the cost of fertilizer is more than uh, the cost of the seed that you will buy. So we advise that you go for 0 0.4 so that you will get 10,000 plants and for one acre. So you need uh, 10 of this. 10 of this for uh, one acre. If you are going for two acres, then you need two of uh, 20 of this. How much is one? So it, uh, we have three times. This is Lengai and then uh, Mawenzile and Lulenza. For Lengai and uh, Lulenza, they are 91. 
for 100 seats. So this 1,000. 1,000 is uh, eight, uh, 860. This is 860 cities. 1,000. 100 is 91. 500 is 430. 500 seats, 430. And then we have another one, Mawenzili. That one is on the fold. We will go and see it. For Mawenzili, it's 102, 400 seats. And the 1,000 seat is um, 960, 960 cities for 1,000 seats, a pack like this. So you need 10 of these for an acre, 9,000 seats, which all of us have been saying there's no money. But with this, 9,000 seats, what you, you will get from it, it's not small. So you have to invest. Last, last week, Saturday, we started one at Spando, 10,000 for one acre. And then uh, Garden X. Uh, one acre. He bought it. You all you know the the end result. You mean the seat ten thousand cities? Uh, oh, ten thousand uh, seats. Seat. Okay. For nine thousand six hundred. Okay. Uh, one pepper plant. One pepper plant will give you three kg in the whole production cycle. If you start from harvesting. So the end of harvesting. 3 kg per plant. So if you multiply 3 kg by the 10,000, how much would you get? 30,000. 30, 30 tons. <laughs> okay, so with that, uh, we have uh, a kg currently for uh, 25 cities in our lo uh, locality here. But Accra is between um, 35 to 50. Let's just say averagely 30 cities. So 30 cities, averagely. So 30 multiplied by uh, that, uh, uh, 30, yeah, is it 30 tons? Or, uh, uh, yeah, it is on kg, okay, so, okay. so yeah, 3,000 kg. So uh, 30,000. Uh, 30, uh, 30, no, 33,000. I'm coming now. Okay. You said the kg is selling for how much? Uh, 20, uh, uh, yeah, so. Let's make it 30. So 30 times 3,000. <laughs> I'm coming up. How much is the kg? 30 So, oh, so we, are, we are doing this thing. Let's take the calculation again. We have uh, 10,000 plants. Multiply by 3. By multiply by 3. 3 30, kg. 30,000. 30,000. So 30,000 times 30. That's how much? Uh, 300. 300,000. 300, yeah. So let's say averagely, averagely, you have uh, 25,000. Yeah, averagely. Average, and uh, 250,000. From one production. Yes. From one production. Mm -hmm. You see, from one production. Including everything that has to take place. You say how much? No, uh, this is uh, the income, your revenue. Okay. Your revenue. So uh, with this revenue, for one acre, you need 150 uh, trees. 150 trees, and then you need uh, seven bags of this irrigation. Irrigation, let's take it without pump. Irrigation without pump, uh, depending on the location, by 13,000. We are doing the business case for 13,000. Mm -hmm. And then uh, agrochemicals, Let's say 7,000. Labor. Uh, story tank. If one acre, you need 10,000 uh, liters of poly tank for fertigation purposes. A situation where you are using the main river. If you want to be doing the fertilizer application manually, my boss will tell you. <laughs> As their machine fell there, it's not working. How oh, it struggle to water manually, it's not, it's not easy. So we advise that you have the tank and then it runs by gravity. Or you can run it with pump at the same time. So that is one thing. So if we do the cost analysis, uh, at the end of the day, you may spend around one acre, 50,000 to 60,000. You see, even if at the end of the day you even spend uh, uh, 100,000, it's not bad.
you see look at the return and tanzania they recorded uh five kg above are, they, are, are these also habaneros yeah this habanero okay I want to ask questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. So with markets, uh, you look for for the market yourself. But we have markets at Accra. And as a lot of people are going into production, you can't always concentrate on uh, those people. But we have, uh, there is market. One thing about uh, our produce, when you are about to produce, you get market. You said our villages, you don't, they don't weigh. They don't weigh. They don't weigh. But uh, you are the producer. In your own farm, they bag with uh, the GMG and then yeah. number four. So you have to weigh the one kg into the sack. And know the, uh, the, the GMG, the number of kg it is. And then you price. Mostly market women, they dictate to us. They are price giver, but that shouldn't be the case. If you come to my farm, I know my cost of production. So if you are saying you are buying this in 10 cities, at the end of the day, I have 100. And my production cost is, let's say, half of the price you are giving me. Am I going to make profit? So I have to know uh, the number of uh, kg that will go into the GMG sack and then the number four, mm -hmm. then you know how to price it. But uh, the GMG is around 30 to uh, 25 to 35 kg. Mm -hmm. And that same GMG, some time ago, they sold it around 1,005. Yeah, 1,005 in the market. And then the, the number four, I think 2,000. Uh, plus mm -hmm. and one and a half GMG will go into the number four sack. Mm -hmm. So you will do all those cost analysis mm -hmm. before you know how to. We are doing the cost now. You know the amount of money you've invested, mm -hmm. and now the produce has come. I have to sell and get that money. Mm -hmm. So if they are saying this is how they will buy, you can't get your money. And uh, there are times that the price goes up. We heard that a uh, time crowd, they even saw a kg for 60, 70. Yeah, this is a banero. I check on each kg. Okay. 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 What you are saying is very good that they are telling us this, but yeah. if you go to the market, price might fight with you. Yeah. So all that you've done right now, yeah. you've gotten what, what you want to do co correct you. Yeah. But you go to the market and someone is sending his or her cheap. Then you may be forced because these things are perishable. Yeah. You may not want to keep it for a very long time. So you also want to uptake it and get your money back. So it's all about all of you having consistency in the market so that yeah. somebody will not come and use some tactics to beat you to also follow them. At the end of the day, you run at lost. Like I said, these are perishable. These things don't last for maybe one week or something. So if where, where it's coming from, even yeah. this fertilizer is, is more of it. You see that? Yeah, and even some of them, you will not feel the hotness of it. I think it's because some of the farmers don't spend this much yeah yes yes <laughs> yes yesterday so now how do you compete with someone who does a traditional farming gets a good yield yes. and sell at a lower price against you who are going through all this process so with that uh our traditional farmers yesterday i was at a training at uh bato at it okay. vegetable farmers uh or traditional farmers they only produce the thing come so far they are harvesting and they are selling the sack for this amount of money they are cool they didn't sit down to do the paperwork i asked them how many of them take record of the seed they buy the fertilizer they buy their receipts and co only one person out of 21. so if they they send the thing to the market their only target is to sell and get some money but i we are saying we are taking farming as business get a profit from it because people are there you employ people you are paying them the person i'm talking about at bando he got a farm manager and they are paying him thousand five and then daily um, a weekly allowance 
and you are providing accommodation for the person. You see? So at the end of the day, you put all those factors of product, uh, those costs. And then you are right. So you go to market and then they say this is how they are selling it. And you also allow it like that. This is our produce, our habanero. If you follow our protocol, it can last for two weeks, I tell you. I took a pepper from here. About two weeks. It's just like that. It just uh, wrinkles more because I is in my bag. I am traveling it up and down. That is it. But if you put it in uh, uh, inside your room, it will stay maximum two weeks. Okay. And also, like I said about yeah. uh, this thing, what's the name? The, is it, if it's very hard to take, if you take pepper, yeah. you know that pepper is it, 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 it's very hot. Uh, but if you, you can even grind a full <laughs> this bag, you can take that with the powder pepper. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm looking at that adding additives. Yeah. Yes. But maybe how we're going to compete with the traditional farmer. How to tell them how to tell our buyers okay uh, maybe it's part of the marketing as well yeah so i can get my my, my, my boss will tell you we have companies who do off taking like yeah. these spice companies yeah. we've seen the difference yeah. so we'll do we'll get something and then we'll pour the seed in so with the seeding we have two ways but i prefer the one we'll be using you will get some pointed this thing and then you create holes but a situation where you are dealing with a lot of people yeah you are dealing with a lot of people they end up dropping two two seats because some people may create the hole deep and the whole creation it should be two times the size of the seat that is uh two cm two cm so the, if you go deeper germination will be problem and if it is too shallow, when we are irrigating, the water will wash the medium uh, uh, on it. So it should be 2 cm. So to avoid that, me, I just put the seed on it. To avoid the situation where 2 2 seeds will not be put in it. I will put it on it. One, if I finish with it before I will press it, I will press in and then close it. So we can use the two and see how it goes. We can use a uh, rear pen here. I have it in my bag. Don't worry. Okay. Bro, stand there. Okay. So if you are using the pen to create the hole, you will see that sometimes if you drop the seed inside, you, you may not see it, especially tomato, which is tiny. You may not see it. So, but with my experience, I prefer we go in direct. I was saying the success of your farm, the success of your farm depend on your seedlings. So, if you have a healthy seedlings, your farm is successful. But situation where you didn't have a healthy seedlings, your farm has question mark. Your farm has question mark so those are uh, the reason why we want to have total control over the seedlings because i told you that this is uh, 860 ghana uh, 60 ghana cities and you just pour it into the soil direct like that how will you know that you have uh uh-huh 990 uh, has germinated how will you know but with the seed tree you have control over it and that is the shade that will be putting them in it so that nothing touch it nothing will touch it so we'll open it now and then i think some of the trees are not full so we'll top some of them up and while filling too you shouldn't be uh too com it shouldn't be compacted so This one is full. As I'm creating the oil, we see what is happening. At the end of the day, you put the seed in. If you are covering it, more uh, medium will cover the seed. Meanwhile, the depth is too is deep already. Before the surface, the side one will end up covering it. So it is advised that it shouldn't be too compacted.
and it shouldn't be too shallow too. So we have 72 cells and we have uh, 1,000 seats. So how many cells do we need for 1,000 seats? Uh, how many trays? So we'll be needing for 1,000. Uh, we have 72. And we have 1,000, 1,000 seeds that we are uh, seeding. So how many is this thing that we will need? Fourteen. So do we have the fourteen here? <laughs> so I told you that that one is not. <laughs> so I told uh, us that before we do everything, we plan. So we know that for thousand, we need fourteen trees, and it's here. You will not come, and then we say, "Oh, my seed is not up." Uh, the tree is not up. Let me go and then look for. No, we plan everything. So the irrigation setup, the kit that will be going for the 500 meter square, we make provision for it. It's down. Uh, anything we will use for the success of the project is being set. But we're talking about our uh, local, our traditional farmers. Yeah. They will sit, nest, transplant before going to look for a fertilizer. Before going to, they will see the symptoms of disease. Disease is before going to look for uh, uh, chemicals to come and treat. And if the two of you are in the same line, and you, you start your entire process from the beginning, do you think they can match with you? Yeah, one is going for 15 cities. So as I was saying, the direct one, one seat, Per, per hole. Agric ten we say one seed per hill. Yeah. So if it drops two, you pick it. Yeah, that is the reason why I was saying, per my experience, per what I am seeing, per what farmers are we doing, especially if we come in mass like this, you create a whole, at the end of the day, some will germinate two, two, two. So I prefer doing it this way. So we have seen that. So we can, we can all share the seed. We are here to learn. We take some. So this is thousand. At the end of the day, we will see whether the seed is up to the thousand or not. <laughs> oh, oh, not like that. No, 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 yeah, yeah, intense or cross pollination. So, so even, even breeding, even with that, some end up when uh, the tassels come, they use rubber to cover the tassels. Yeah. So, with that, as you are done, you press it in gently and then you cover. This one is almost. So that was what I we intentionally do the, uh, do this one. Oh, it's only one. So the rest all we moist it. We've done it with the sense that they will see the the difference. Mm. So this one. Uh,
<laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, breeding in uh, Ghana is only few. Yeah, as we are saying, our one of our experts is here. He can give us a brief this thing about maize breeding. Uh, okay, see there. It's here. So we see, uh, if uh, you are doing this on the floor, the normal bed, the normal bed, do you know uh, the, uh, the advantage of this one? This one, if you will be transplanting, you will just lift it and it go into the soil direct the roots are not be disturbed but if uh, you are using uh, the normal soil the normal uh, seed bed you will now have uh, roots the roots are be a uh, cut the roots are be disturbed and now you will not take it to the field for them to be established almost a week so the the uh, seven days that you'll be irrigating Ir irrigation for seven days if you calculate the force it's not small and i said for one acre every day you need ten thousand liters yeah we didn't use uh-huh okay so we'll now go to our shade our shade uh this thing then we'll, we'll irrigate or do we prefer we irrigate here before taking it there yeah yeah so we'll, we'll do it there so we'll see the difference but boss we can do this one let let them see let's see the difference here <laughs> oh this one there is no yeah you do the watering let's see you see what see the difference oh You do. Okay. Are we seeing anything? Yeah, it's raining now. Okay. It's swelling. Okay. Okay, you. Do this one. Are we seeing the difference? Yeah. Is there any difference? Yeah. It takes a shorter time for this one to get wet. <laughs> and then this one, you see that he uh, does it be, uh, so many times before yeah. uh, the water does this thing. So that is the reason why you have to moist. But you see how we moist it. Not too pecha 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 pecha. It shouldn't be. You should you shouldn't make it like a uh, mortar. <laughs> no, like you are mashing a uh, feet. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do it like that. So. Mm, yeah. For an acre, we have uh, ten thousand. Yes, please. Come again. If one plus you give it two seed at the end of if like strong cause money. But we, we do the business case here and uh, they know how they'll be getting. Ah okay, so with the business kit, a brief uh this thing. The demo that we are doing is uh, five hundred meters square. Okay. So with the five hundred meters square we will go with a planted distance of 0 0.6. So with the 0 0.6, we are getting 833 plants per uh, 500 meters square. If we are using 0 
the meaning I uh, will get 1,250 plants per 500 meters square. But with this, this thousand, we may do some for the 0 0.4 if uh, it remains. But for us to avoid uh, maybe shortage, maybe germination problems, that is why they, they run it to thousand. So at the end of the day, we may get our 833 exactly. So with 833 plants, uh, a plant is giving us, our habanero plant is giving us 3 kg. 3 kg from harvest to the end of the cycle. That is 180 days. 3 kg. So we we'll multiply the 3 kg by the 833 and then it will give us the same calculation we will do, but this one, this one, we just run it down to the 500 meters square. But if it's the uh, the one acre, which is the 10,000, we are run at 30,000. Uh, is it kg? Yeah, 30,000 kg. So, no, 30,000. Yeah, I know. 30,000. Uh, 30,000. 30, uh, 30, so uh, if we run it, uh, it should be 30,000. Uh, 30, no, 30 tons. It should be 30 tons. Yeah, 30 tons. In kg, is 30,000. So multiply by 3, uh, 3 kg. Uh, 25. 25. 25 cities per kg. We just do it averagely. We know that Accra is, is, is a range between 25 to 50. Come again. Accra, the driving starts from 75. Because my mom posted 55, right? Not yeah. me, that is our price. Uh, okay. The price that I found by them. Okay, for the same uh, 70, uh, uh, for, for 70 yeah. per kg? Yes, yeah, 70 is per kg. Okay. But they run it as in, uh, on quantity basis, if you are buying it from 10 kg to this, is 75. Okay. Okay. So the minimum is 55 Ghana cities. Yeah, man. That is 20 kg. So, I just peg it that way. You know, yeah. The minimum. Do you know, uh, Africa, <laughs> our problem is the men they see have been dealing with a lot of clients. You give them the total coat, their brain is sweetening them, sweetening them, sweetening them. But if you come to the ground, what, to, what they should do for them to get the, the result, they don't do. So we give average. We need 3 kg per plant. If you do the treatment well, yeah. I told you as earlier on that they say Tanzania, they recorded 5 kg per plant. So if you do your uh, practices well, you can get more. You see, you can get more. So let's follow the right protocol. And then we'll see. We are here. I said we'll all see whether the demo, is, uh, the seeding that we've done today, whether we will get a 3 kg at the end of the uh, each cycle of the year, whether we will get it or not, then we will be a living witness. The what we are saying is true. So, this is what we've done today. This is what we are saying, you have to do a shade to have control over uh, your seedlings because the success of your farm depends on your uh, seedlings. So without them, 
you can't do anything. So we know the ground, as I said, the flood issue, it wiped away all my uh, seedlings. And with this one, if the next on the ground, you may come grasshoppers, will come snails, they will eat all. Can you, uh -huh, can you get anything? But with this one, you have total control. You know that the thousand and eight that we, we've done, if anything, cry, at least uh, nine th uh, 990 should come. Should come. But with the ground, if you have the experience, I did tomato 100 seed, I got 98. 98 germinated. So if you have the experience, you can do. But I prefer, I am now liking the seed tray because of what happened to me. The flood issue that wiped away all my seedlings. So you, you so uh, if any other thing, I would like my experts, other colleagues around to share their thoughts and then we go. So this is AB farm. My big experience with this is has to do with the watering. Yes. Uh, because the medium is the medium is the medium is small, yeah. the watering has to be timely. Yeah. If you are an absentee farmer, don't try it because the day by the time you come, when it's hammer time, yeah. all these things will dry off and then you lose your sibling. And so you cannot be an absentee farmer and try, try this. Yeah. So you have to do your watering very timely. Yeah. I think yeah, that's yeah. one thing I have. I told them I share experience with them from the Doma Farm Institute. Okay. They were using cocoa peat. Okay. And then a jiffy is more uh, finer than the cocoa peat. Okay. So the supervisor went for a course exam. The students that's supposed to take care of it didn't. Kakumba, uh, that is 600, no, 600, uh, 10 seedlings. They lost everything. all everything, I told them. They lost every 600, 60 Ghana, uh, 60 Ghana cities. Just gone like that. They have to start all over again. So I share that experience with them. Oh, okay. And then I told them that with this, the nutrient content in it can uh, sustain the plant for uh, two to three weeks. Okay. So from uh, two weeks going, they have to supplement so, with nutrients. So which one are you recommending? I recommend a polyfeed okay. 1919 okay. or uh, 2020 okay. with uh, the EC of 0.5. From the second week, uh, third week, uh, 0 0.7, and the fourth week, 0 0.8. Okay. That is the, con uh, the concentration of the solution. The solution okay. But a situation where you don't have the EC meter, what you can do is you use the knapsack. Okay. Uh, for polyfeed, you need 90 to uh, 120 for grams. Yeah, grams for a 16, 15 to 16 liters. So you can decide to use that dose. It will burn, burn them. Okay. So with the exception of uh, EC meter, that is what you can use. Okay. That is what you can use. Alas, somebody was saying, where can I get the money and buy the EC meter? If you don't have, you improvise. What you have at your disposal, yeah. use that. So I from- What's the EC meter? is a hot we use to check the concentration of uh, the fertilizer that will be given. If you do stock solution, it has uh, <laughs> uh, the solution have uh, a concentration. The concentration that can burn, uh, there's a concentration that can burn the plant. If it is higher, it will burn. If it is lower, it's good. So as it is seedlings, uh, you have to start with lower concentration as they are growing, you increase it, you increase it. But if you start with uh, higher, you may end up burning your seedlings. Uh, for a sort of fertilizer is electrical conductivity. But with insecticide is a musifiable uh, concentration. My other colleague, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So with the knapsack, please, uh, if you will use, don't use the one you've used to spray weed inside. I beg. 
If not, you may end up destroying your whole plant seedlings. So dedicate uh, a knapsack purposely for insecticide and then we decide. Okay. So you you see this farm, they've indicated on the fertilizer and watering seedlings. But you see the ass is coming to use it, he rinse inside. It happened at uh, Pando. They asked the, uh, the caretaker to go and then irrigate. Uh, spray. So he knows that that is the machine they use for insecticide. Other colleague farmer came for the machine and go and spray with inside with it. And then the person went ahead and then mixed the chemical inside. That is the end of half of the farmers be wiped away. Especially where he started with. You know that some of the residual are inside the hose and then the pump. So where they started from, oh, away. So as I was saying, uh, the EC that I'm talking about, as the concentration is high in the hose, you see that it started burning from where they start. As they are going to the top, it's reducing. So those are some of the effects. So dedicate a machine purposely for weedicide and a purposely for insecticide. But as it is weedicide or insecticide, any time you want to use, our advice is rinse inside. You may not know what will happen. Maybe, maybe an oversight. You yourself can come and use the same uh, insecticide for weedicide. You may not know. So please. Uh, to be on safer side, that is what you you will do. So with this, uh, as we we've done, we see that some of the seeds are showing. So you put them inside. It's also advisable that after doing it, to me after doing it, you use some of the jiffy to to wrap on top. But a situation where, you, uh, if you are doing it, the person may end up applying more and germination will be a problem. But to we experts, we can do it like that. So that those that will be showing will be covered. So that is what we will do. So we will top up uh, some places and then we will bring the session plan. And then we will visit the farm. Then we go. So let's visit the farm. And we see what... So, uh, you put uh, you put that one inside the the sack. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. Zero two four. Is it the last? Daniel. Uh, Ajit. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. He is our head of agronomist. So as we are talking now, today we will be, as we finish, we will lay another great system. And you see, go for quality. Our own is embedded. It has been cut. But with this one, you see, it's prone to clogging. Easily clogged. So as we are talking, some of the lines are not flowing. So we have to change it. But the one that uh, our own is being cut, as we are using it for the demo, you will see it. You can even bury our drip uh, drip line, the tea tape. You can bury it. But this one, the way you bury it, and then sun hits here, the water will not in it again. So go for the uh, right quality too. It will give you the right result. So they are using manual uh, watering. And you have your, your tape over here? We don't have, but we'll be, uh, we'll be using it for the demo. Okay. So... Uh, we will do land preparation next week and then we will take it. So anytime we will come, uh, you, you, you will know and then you will come and have a look at what we are doing. That is the reason why Holland Green Tech, uh, we are boosting the horticulture sector in Ghana in the next four years. We want to reach every Ghana. So as we are talking now, we are at Alaba Nukando, we are in Sugarcoffer, we are right here in Go. Uh, we are in Ada, Ohau, Abo, 
there is a demo going on there. We are currently running a four men. We can we can go now. Ah, the pepper. Mister, yes, I'm are you doing it? Ah, uh, the Lolenza, I think we give them some one one one. Okay, new ones. Okay. So this one has reached its uh, cycle of uh, production. Hold their uh, Which is how many months? Mm, it's more than six months. Okay. More than six months. So after six months, this is how it will be looking. So with this one, you can still maintain it and harvest it and send to the market. Okay. And you get your, your small, small credits for, for this thing. Is this a normal species? For or is it because it's intercropping? That's it, why. It, because it's intercropping. Okay. So you see, we say one meter. So it's one meter. Okay. So I said, wait till you till we're ready to go. So that. So we will set it, they will, they will plant, yeah. no place will be wasted. Yeah. Yeah. No place or another one to be yeah. planting here. That's right. Mm. Here to, to, to see them. Yeah. So this one to have So this is 50 connectors. Mm. 15 mm. lines. Wow. 50? Yes. This why, one. Why, why? Yeah, okay, okay. okay. This one, 50 connect. Uh, how many meters? Uh, this is 50. 50, 50 meters. Yeah, from here to the last end is 50. So the, the, the interval is 50. Uh, the, yeah, one meter. I believe it is 50. Yeah. That's why last, I can have this. Yeah. We will take that. We are all farmers. We need to help each other. Oh. The man is old, he cannot do spray, so we want to do it. That's a help and do spray to the program. Because it's not competition. No. We're trying to feed the country. Win win. So the more farmers there are, the better. And if everybody's working together, we can set our prices and our quality and our stuff. So, we have to call on the That's true. Yeah. Uh, this is the way. Uh, and even if every single succeeded 100% there would still be plenty of food. food for people to buy nobody would be out of money because you're there's plenty of food okay you understand i understand so if everybody's working together and everybody's growing there's food for everybody nobody goes hungry and every farmer gets some money it's true but that's not the case here I know. people are gatekeeping that's how, how it should be. Everybody should work together so everybody has food. Nobody goes hungry. Everybody has money. Everybody has shelter. Everybody has everything. That's a good idea, but reality. I know. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I, I am the only one running. Oh, okay. And, and Ohau too. We are running. That same project at Ohio Agriculture College. What's your number? Show me hello. Your phone number? 0244 655 291. I'm coming. Let me add. Okay. This is my office line 054 733 4148. And your personal line? Uh, 054 733-4148 Personal line 0244-655-291 Subscribe So let's take the group picture And then we 